What's up guys, welcome to Supercars of London, welcome back to the location which I epically failed trying to film a video last time uh, with the Audi A1 parked here. Fingers crossed today, I'm not going to take too long uh, with an intro and I'm not going to get interrupted by a wasp, a man, a car or anything else. Today is a very, very exciting day. For the last two or three weeks, I have filmed different segments to what I'm about to tell you, and it has never actually made it into the final edit of any of my videos. And it is one thing that I've been getting more and more frustrated about. So about one month ago, when I was in central London, someone broke into my car and basically raided it. Laptop and camera gear, all gone, GoPro's gone. And I was about to replace them with GoPro Hero 4s, and then GoPro announced that they were revealing a GoPro Hero 5 in the first week of October. So rather than waste a ton of money on GoPro Hero 4s, I used the Olfi cameras that I had, um, and I know there's been a lot of comments about the quality of them. I am going to be upgrading those cameras to the new Olfi 4K cameras, but today something very exciting arrived in the post, as you can tell from the title, and today I am going to test it out, but first I probably need to charge it. Inside my car is the brand new New GoPro Hero 5 Black that arrived this morning. Thank God Amazon Prime exists because it is arguably one of the best things in the world and that is not an ad. I use it pretty much every single day. So I have got a GoPro Hero 5 Black inside. It has not been unboxed. So today is an unboxing. I'm going to have to charge it up and whilst I'm shooting this intro I'm currently trying to organize a quick video shoot so that I can test the GoPro Hero 5 black camera out on something a little bit more exciting than the Audi A1. So with that being said let's head into the car unbox the GoPro Hero 5 check out what we get inside the box I've already downloaded the GoPro app but, but then I'm going to shoot home charge it up and then hopefully by that time I will have something exciting to film so let's go. Here we go let's get underway in opening this bad boy. Got the GoPro app, which uh, I have already downloaded. I'm ready to go. And as you can tell, this is the first GoPro, new GoPro that I've owned. I don't really know how it works. I wanted to keep the box in pristine condition. It's come out, all of it is out. And ladies and gentlemen, You press it. Oh, here it is. This is the GoPro Hero 5 Black in a case. I think it's a tractor in the field, actually. We've got a screen on the back built in, and inside here. We've got some sticky mounts to stick it to the dashboard, to the body of the car. We've got the all important battery that's going to be need to be charged up. We've got the USB that also is going to be used to charge up. And that is it. <laughs> that is all that is in the box. Looks like we're recording. No idea whether that's a great angle or not. The sun is definitely shining into the car. And because the screen's on the back, I have no idea whether it is a good angle or not. I have got the GoPro app, however, I haven't been able to connect it because what has happened since driving back home, putting a memory card in and charging it up to 30% battery is our tech design have got in touch. Our tech design are a supercar and I suppose non-supercar, an automotive tuning company um, that are based in St Albans. And they have got in contact and said they have got a Lamborghini Aventador that we can test this camera out on properly. Right, okay, I've been given the keys to the Lamborghini Aventador. I have no idea what you can see, but I'm here. This is our tech design. Oh. No idea where my hands need to go to stop the microphones um, from getting blocked. So I'm going to hold it here. And this is the car that we're going to be going out in. I need to unlock it again. Oh, yes. The only thing that I'll say is there's one microphone there. Yeah. Oh, my God. One there. It's amazing, isn't it? Yeah, and it's, t and it's all on the screen here as well. 
This is Adrian, by the way. Hi, how are you? On a fish fish eye lens, I think. How, how good is that? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> It's recording. I haven't got the screen on. The screen's not on in the back. I might have to change that in the settings. Maybe he's trying to conserve battery or something. Maybe. I charged it up. It's got 80 80%, 80 percent, 80 percent battery. Does it just come on when you set it up? Just as soon as you set it up, it comes on. Yeah. But then maybe once it's recording. Super view. Super. How do you do this thing? Oh, it's hot in here. We need the aircon on. Oh, nice socks. Three powers. Yep. Well, this is like proper fisheye, this one. I think the Aventador is the perfect breaking in uh, ritual for a GoPro. <laughs> yeah, let's go in. That does sound good. And we're in Strada as well, which is why I like the single clutch gearbox is slightly slower, but once you put it in sport, it's a little bit punchy, I assume. I need to warm the car up a bit. I think they're all a bit like this, aren't they? <laughs> yeah. Sounds good, much better. It's like the uh, the kind of fisheye wide angle lens. It's not so much of a whoa, you sit far back. <laughs> I've got longer legs than you. <laughs> <laughs> Blacked out S3, there's my car. Look at that. All that. All these blacked out cars. And now we're going to see the daddy. Satin black. All satin wrap. Plastic it from the rims. These all been plastered it as well, nice and shiny. So it's all fully removable if it needs to. Difficult to tell how it's going to look on camera, but on the laptop, sorry. Oh, the screen's gone off. <laughs> but yeah, I'm now pointing in the dark. Very cool. Static wrap, this is matte black wrap. So 
no reflection on this whatsoever. It's got top of Batmobile. We're doing the brakes in white. They're being powder coated at the minute. And a full custom interior. So we've taken out the roof lining, taken out the back panel, taken out the sheets. Everything's gone. All stripped. <laughs> And then a Nissan Qashqai. Is that a Qashqai? No. Qashqai with 22s. This test fit in 22s on it for the guy, look. Oh, well, yeah. First Qashqai on 22s. <laughs> <laughs> so I've made it back home now and I'm editing the video downstairs. This little bad boy is pretty damn awesome looking back on some of the footage. I also need to work out why some of the audio clips haven't properly synced up with the video files but I will be learning on this beast over the next sort of two days or so. I'm filming with it all week, very much looking forward to exploring it, setting it up on my phone and everything like that and of course I'm not going to be holding it all of the time and getting my thumb, thumb over the camera so they were all mistakes but I thought that I wanted to test it out and what better way to test it out than with a Lamborghini Aventador so huge thank you to Artec Design for being so accommodating so last minute. This arrived at 10am this morning and this video is going live at 5 or 6 6pm, I'm not entirely sure, this evening. So very quick turnaround. Thank you for watching guys. Please give it a thumbs up and subscribe if you haven't already. Finally, we have got a good interior camera. So from now on, the videos inside the car when I'm talking on the camera will uh, be of a much better quality. Thank you for watching and I will see you soon. Cheers guys.